Welcome to the West Wing Week, your guide to everything that's happening in 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. This week, the president focused on education, science, and innovation before heading out on a West Coast swing ahead of the midterm elections. That's October 15th to the 21st, or the White House Whoa, Science Fair. Who's using his license? Oh, oh. There? Look at that. Oh! On Friday, October 15th, President Obama returned home from a stop in Wilmington, Delaware to welcome former Secretary of State Dr. Condoleezza Rice to the Oval Office. Kind of Mr. President, how sorry, are I'm you? Mr. President. You've been through the drill. I do. You do not have to apologize. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. On Monday, October 18th, the first White House Science Fair was held in the state dining room to showcase the winners of a broad range of science, technology, engineering, and math competitions, including a solar car model shown to the President by Michaela Nelson of Billings, Montana. It's made out of carbon fiber laminate, which is basically, it's two carbon fiber sheets that are 90 degrees to each other. Well, we're gonna have to have you work for, for one of the auto companies to, to get them to design the, the next generation of cars. Huh? This is a good start. After seeing other exhibits of motorized wheelchairs, water purification systems, and a soccer playing robot. Well, let's just like point it this way. <laughs> See what happens. The president made remarks about the importance of science and innovation to our economy and our future. We welcome championship sports teams to the White House to celebrate their victories. I've had the Lakers here. I've had uh, the Saints here. I thought we ought to do the same thing for the winners of science fairs. You know, when you win first place at a science fair, uh, nobody's rushing the field or dumping Gatorade over your head. Uh, but in many ways, our future depends on what happens in those contests. On Tuesday, October 19th, President Obama encountered a mariachi band in the Cross Hall ahead of his signing of an executive order renewing the White House Initiative on Educational Excellence for Hispanics. You sounded great. That was thank you so much. Thank uh, you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so Latinos much. make up the largest minority group in America's schools, and they face challenges of monumental proportions. They are more likely to attend our lowest performing schools, learn in larger class sizes, and drop out at higher rates. In the end, this is about building a brighter future where every child in this country, black, white, Latino, Asian, or Native American, regardless of color, class, creed, has a chance to rise above any barrier to fulfill their God-given potential. On Wednesday, October 20th, the president left for a West Coast swing to speak to Americans in Oregon, Washington State, California, Nevada, and Minnesota ahead of the midterm elections. Meanwhile, it was harvest time down at the White House Vegetable Garden. The First Lady and White House chef Sam Cass were joined by students from Tubman and Bancroft Elementary Schools and Daniel Balud and James Kent, who represent the United States in the international Bocuse d'Or, the Olympics of cooking. Also on Wednesday, the president's newly appointed chairman of the Council of Economic Advisors, Austin Goolsby, released a web video at whitehouse.gov to talk about the president's commitment to private sector job growth right here in America. Over the next several months, the Recovery Act puts in place job-creating investments. The video is the latest in a series called the White House Whiteboard, where senior administration officials talk to the American public about complex policy solutions being discussed at the White House. On Thursday, October 21st, the president visited the home of Cindy and Eric Foss in Seattle, Washington, where he hosted a backyard discussion on women in the economy and focused on the impact of the recession on women and how his administration's policies have benefited them. Our economy works only when everybody's participating, and that means that things like equal pay for equal work aren't just women's issues, those are middle-class family issues. Because, you know, how well women do is, will help determine how well our families are doing as a whole. Uh, it means that everybody's got to have, a, have access to financing for small businesses. To find out more information on any of these topics or to see complete videos of these events, go to whitehouse.gov. And thanks again for checking out your West Wing Week. Basically from scratch because when I started this project, I didn't know any chemistry. So first I taught myself chemistry and then I did... <laughs> this was all in the summer after freshman year, so I only had biology right. knowledge.